In the next few videos, we're going to take a look at the Smart Retopo tool that has been introduced in 3D Coat 2021. It has three different modes, loft, strip, and quadrangulation. In this first video, I'm going to cover the strip mode. So I'll click on that. It has a freehand mode chosen by default. So when you drag, you'll notice that the curve is created in a freehand fashion, as the name implies. If I create a curve, it's not yet set. I need to hit enter if I'm ready to commit it to polygons. I'm just looking at a preview. However, you don't necessarily have to hit escape to start somewhere else instead. If you don't want to start up here, or if you don't like that, you could always just try and create a new strip elsewhere. Now, let's take a look at some of the options we have in making adjustments with this curve. We have parameters that we can adjust here, and we will talk about those momentarily. But for now, I want to mention, if you want to change the size of your polygons, you can right-click outside of it and drag to the right or to the left if you want to decrease it. So the relative size of your radius dictates how large the polygons will be. Okay, so all I have to do is click any one of these nodes and it will automatically change. So that's probably a little bit large for this. So what I can do, if I want to connect it to this polygon, or if I were to change the number of segments, so if I had two or three polygons, I could connect those uh, here. As long as they are touching other vertices, it has a auto weld feature built into it. However, as of this recording, it doesn't really have a tolerance feature that the weld tool does. That may be forthcoming in the near future, but for now, just know that as long as your points or these vertices that you're going to create, if they are very close to other vertices, then it will automatically weld those. Okay, so let's say I want to connect that with this polygon. I'm going to right click and drag to the left. And then I can click this. And it should be close enough. If I need to adjust the angle of the edge on the ends, you can see I have a little bezier handle here that will let me adjust that angle. And these intermediate points will allow you to click and drag to readjust the spline as you need. Okay, so let me get that a little bit closer. And now I'm going to hit the Enter key. And you'll notice how it welded these together. I'm going to undo. And I'm going to pull it off just a bit. Hit the Enter key. So I'll go ahead and create another strip by clicking and dragging right here. And I'm going to try to stay close to those vertices. But that might be a problem if I want to go ahead and commit those to polygons. It really is just a matter of me aligning the curve along the middle, the left, or the right side. So let's go here in the Tool Options panel and change that to something like the right side. I'm going to hit the Enter key. And I notice that the vertices are not close enough, so that did not weld those together. What I want to do in this case is I want to go ahead and choose a select tool. I can get it from here in the tool options panel. And I want to be in versus mode. And I'll just go ahead and I'll just select those. And I can right click and choose weld vertices. Because these are relatively close, I can now have 3D coat weld vertices that are within a certain proximity of each other. I can use the tolerance to make sure that it welds these two. 
So if you see a little blue line, that does indicate that it will weld them together. I hit OK, and now they are welded. Another tool that you can use is the Move tool. It might be renamed something else uh, in the future, but it automatically welds when you bring a vertex over another. Other tools such as Add and Split, I believe Quads tool as well, Points and Faces, and the Strokes tool, when you right click and drag over a point, it will perform the same function. It will automatically weld those vertices together. So let me go ahead and click that one. Now let's weld those, and you can see now they share the same color. Okay, let me switch to points and faces. I want to just show you can right click over a vertex and do the same thing essentially. With the move tool, you don't have to right click, just left mouse click and drag. But with these other tools, if you right click and drag, then they will weld when you bring a vertex over the top of another. I'm going to pause right here and we will pick up in the next video.